everyone, I'm Ellen Canner, Soulful Vegan here in beautiful Miami Beach Botanical Garden. This is the pilot for our series, Fresh from the Garden, when we bring a little bit of the garden to you. We're going to have local experts who tell you how to grow our gorgeous local produce. I'm better about showing you how to bring it into the kitchen, so that's what we're going to do today. My friends up north have been posting their pumpkin patch pictures, um, and they're lovely, but we need to feel no pumpkin envy in South Florida. We have our own. There's calabasa, which is huge. Uh, it also called Cuban pumpkin and Jamaican pumpkin and Caribbean pumpkin, and this is just the sliver because I could not lift the whole thing. Um, there's also our own native pumpkin called Seminole pumpkin. Seminole pumpkin is smaller and sweeter, and the word Seminole you may know from our native tribe, but the word means in its natural place. And here we are in the gorgeous garden. I teach conscious cooking and mindful eating, and I focus on what I call the four magics of mindful eating. I'm gonna tell you one of them for free. One of them is the magic of nature. And how fantastic is this? When you get to connect with nature, it brings down our blood pressure, it improves our mood, and you know how crazy things have been lately. We really, really need that. But you can also do a trick by using local produce. You can get that same natural high by bringing fresh seasonal produce inside. We are going to have a gourd expert telling you about growing pumpkin. I tell you how to cook and eat it. This huge piece of calabasa, this is all that's left. I took the rest of it, which was about two and a half pounds, and I steamed it. That's a trick for you, because I know you don't want to hurt your knife or yourself chopping up this huge, dense thing. If you pop it in the oven, 350 degrees for about 10 minutes, doesn't cook it, but it softens it enough so you can tackle it. And when you do cook it, when you steam it, I steam cubes of it um, for about 25 minutes, it goes from that to this, very easy to, t um, to cut into. So now I have my gorgeous steamed pumpkin and I blitzed it in a food processor. Took about three pounds of pumpkin to come up with a cup and a half when you took out all the seeds and stuff. And hey, don't waste the seeds. You can toast them and eat them. Or you can just compost the weird stringy bits that make you nervous. We don't like that. We, don't, we have enough nervousness in our lives as it is. Uh, I hate to break it to you. There is no pumpkin in your pumpkin spice latte. There's just spices and sugar. Real pumpkin, this kind of pumpkin, has its own natural sweetness. It's a mellowness. It kind of calls forth warming spices like ginger and cinnamon and other wonderful things we're going to be using today. And it's wonderful together. Ginger, which grows right here in the garden, is a rhizome. Um, you can see beautiful ginger flowers here, but the really cool stuff grows underground. It's a root. Um, we'll also be using allspice, which grows right in the garden. It sounds like a spice. It's really a berry. And when it's powdered, it also has kind of a wonderful earthiness to it. And curry leaves. I used to think curry was just a series of spices like masala and cumin and, and coriander and chili, and it is. But there is also such a thing as a curry leaf tree, and we grow it right in the garden. It has a heavenly, haunting bit of a citrus note, not spicy at all. And all these things are going to come together with our pumpkin. You could actually stop right here, and this pumpkin puree is about the most nourishing thing you can eat. It has its own wonderful sweetness, and um, if you want to feed it to your baby, if you're feeling a little off and you just sort of need a boost, this is what's going to do it for you. So what we're making today 
is Caribbean curried pumpkin dip. And I was telling this to a friend. She said, ah, curry, it's so spicy. Uh, no, because it's Caribbean, which just means it's very mellow and earthy. And I am taking two teaspoons of Jamaican curry powder, which tends to have more turmeric and allspice. Remember, we were talking about allspice uh, rather than chili. And I am adding it to my pumpkin. Just look how gorgeous and golden that is. And now we're going to do an Indian technique called tadka. I have heated a little coconut oil in my very heavy cast iron skillet. And we're going to give some of these spices and seeds a quick blast of heat. I've got mm, probably about a tablespoon of ginger, minced. Oh, can you hear that? I love that. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you need to peel your ginger. No, you don't. This is for you. Um, we got half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon fennel seeds. That's the licorice one. And you don't have to have it if you can't find it, but I love these. These are called nigella. They're also known as black onion seed, and I've heard them called charnushka. They sound wonderful, and they've got a very mild oniony taste without being at all sharp. And you know, I love doing videos, but I feel badly because you can't smell this stuff, and that's what smells so good. I'm going to add my cinnamon stick from Grenada, and oh yes, my curry leaves. Curry is a little bit like bay in that it's an aromatic. You don't necessarily want to eat it. I don't mind chewing on it, but you might not want to. And I'm just going to put a few of those leaves in there. Give them a stir. And am I missing anything? No, this is so easy, which is why I love it. Can you hear it? Can you see it? I'm going to give it another minute. I will be done. I need to cut up a lime, and then we'll be done. You just need about the juice of half a good lime. And that's how we finish. You get to accessorize it now, so you can glam it up totally. Oh, you know what I like to add? You do not have to, because this is a very mild curry dip. But it's me, right? And I'm the one here, so I'm going to add just a little bit of red pepper flakes. If you're squeamish, leave them out. And now I'm going to plate everything up. I'm going to get some greens, because I always love to add greens. They make everything prettier. I have always believed greens are the best thing to get into you, and they are styling. A food photographer friend of mine says, if you want to do anything to jazz up a picture. Add some green. It is the best thing for you. So I'm going to just put some down at the bottom here. And I'm going to spoon in our pumpkin. Orange is the new black people. And it is just kind of pretty like this, but wait till you see what we do with it. I'm going to kind of Dimple it a little. We like texture. And with my very hot spices, I'm going to pour them on top. And add the juice of half a lime. And you're saying, well, why didn't you stir it all in together in the first place? You could have saved me some time didn't take that long. Besides, you are a multi-dimensional person. Your food should be too. Especially as a vegan, I want food that does it all, that has color and looks and flavor and nutrition. So it is this. And in fact, I'm going to keep the green thing going. I'm going to add just a few sprouts on top and a couple tomatoes cut in half. What could it hurt? and a few pumpkin seeds. 
It's seasonal and native too, which is what I love about it. A lot of this is right out of Miami Beach Botanical Garden. In a perfect world, I would simply just like go into the garden and pick everything I need. Well, you can do almost that here. You know, I was talking about allspice. That's that mellow Jamaican berry. And here it is. It's just wild. It's, you can see why it's called allspice. It is the entire spice cabinet in one. And right by us is also ginger, which is so, so pretty. I don't know if this is the edible kind, but I have my roots. And you can grow ginger. You can regrow it from your own ginger root. Just get one with a little eye. That's the weird thing sticking out. And let it dry and bury it. And maybe you'll wind up with this. How beautiful. Miami Beach Botanical Garden really has it all. I mean, we do have a unicorn. How cool is that? But we also have an edible garden. Right here we have Cuban oregano, which is kind of like a succulent, and it does beautifully as a ground cover. You only need a little good, strong taste. And I just found out that they have pomegranate. I am so crazy about pomegranate. It is the season for it. So you guys got to come back next month. I promise I will use it in something. There is so much beauty, naturally, here in Miami Beach Botanical Garden. So I hope you join me for more cooking classes. Till next time, everyone, this is Ellen Canner for Miami Beach Botanical Garden. Thanks.